10 Tampa Bay is heading out to your neighborhood, sharing your stories. That's how we do it. So today in our community connection, guess what? We're highlighting East Hillsborough County, including the surrounding spots of Plant City. Yeah, it's known for its small businesses like Fred's Market. 10 Tampa Bay anchor Caitlin Lockerbie spoke with the original chef who at 96 still watches over the buffet. And some gravy on it. They say behind every great man is a great woman. We got to make room for all this food. And in this case, behind this Plant City staple is Evelyn Johnson, the original cook in the kitchen at Johnson's Restaurant. And the muscle behind her late husband's idea for family meals served up at what started as his local gas station. I would cook at home and take it out. Take it over. Over there. And then he says, why don't I put a stove out here and we'll just cook at the restaurant. And then here. And by we, he meant you? Yeah. Speaking of gas station, yeah. it was a car that revved up the couple's romance. You said you were working at a, a I Chevrolet was station. At the Chevrolet place. He came in to pay a bill on his car. We were talking. He says, how about taking me out and showing me the bright lights? I said, excuse me? So he repeated himself. I said, I don't take men out, and I don't go see the bright lights. So that fixed him up in a hurry. <laughs> he loved it. <laughs> and Elton loved her up until his last breath in 2010. He passed away when we were married 51 years. With two sons, grandkids, great-grandkids, and a history of Southern hospitality between them. In 1998, the couple's son, Fred, carried on the family tradition, opening the first Fred's Market restaurant. Now Evelyn has a front row rocker to all the action she helped create. I'm glad it's here so I can get up and come over here and act like I work here. But her recipe for success remains. Yeah, we want some chicken. Chicken, you can't say, this is what I hear is the famous chicken. Okay, yeah, we, we like our chicken. Let me find a place. May sound simple enough, but there's something special here that brings people back daily. So they come every day. What's your favorite thing to eat? Fried chicken. This fella comes every day too, and it makes me feel proud that we're still on the map. Still yeah. going. September, I'll be 97. I'm getting a pretty old. Look at you. I'll soon be 100. <laughs> That recipe to longevity has a little hospitality in it, too. When you don't drink, uh, you don't smoke, uh, eat good food. Fried chicken? And Yeah, I like fried chicken. <laughs> and, uh, we have a wonderful Fred's restaurant, and it's so good. It's regular food. Uh -huh. Come on down, and we'll take care of it. <laughs> I know that's right. Sweet lady, great food. That's right. What, what's for lunch, Courtney? <laughs> <laughs> you need to check out Fred's Market. But you know, what really strikes me is the long relationships, yeah. right? Those long and strong relationships, thanks to Evelyn. Oh, Miss Evelyn. She said, you want some gravy? You want some chicken, too? <laughs> and Caitlin was like, yes, of course. Let's yeah. get it. Let's get all of that. The original Fred's Market is located off MLK Boulevard in Plant City. I got to check this out. And they also have locations, making it a little bit easier, right? In Riverview and Lakeland as well.